Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, got a package here. We want to open this up. This is my pop box for the golf cart. Um, I did a video on this a couple months ago. Um, <clears throat> I tried to adjust the one that was on it and it just quit working all together. I'll explain more about that here in just a second. Let's go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> Let's see if we got the right one. I'll grab some tools. Take the old one off, we'll slide them side by side, make sure they're they're the same. Let's check this out. Okay guys, again, sorry for the lighting, but I am outside. It's a beautiful day, but it's hot. So I'm sitting in the shade. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up here the package got wet this thing had made one heck of a a travel and I don't think it even left it was saying it was in Jacksonville Florida and then it went up to uh, Union City Georgia which is just the suburb of, it's Atlanta really and then back to Jacksonville back up there back to Jacksonville and then it said it came down to here in my town then back up to Jacksonville then back to my town back up to Jacksonville and then it came today so I don't understand and it's wet I don't know how it got wet being in the we had other mail in the mailbox and it didn't get wet okay this looks like a pop box now we got to adjust this before I put it on what what it was doing and it always I get this from from her mom it was her mom and dad's monkey's mom and dad's and what, what that golf cart was doing was if you would put it all the way to the floor, it would go just for a second and then just shut off. You had to turn the key off, put it in neutral, turn the key back on, put it in gear, and go again. You couldn't go all the way to the floor, which was okay, which I was just going to, you know, kind of put something, make the gas pedal to where it wouldn't go so far. But uh, it just got to where, like, I couldn't even pull out onto the street there's a little knoll there it wouldn't go up up this hill uh, a lot of times just going through the yard it would just shut off so I went to adjust it because this is a zero to five thousand ohm okay uh, pot box that stands for uh, potentiometer box um, so if it's putting out more than five thousand that golf cart will shut down so when I went to adjust it, it just went haywire. Everything went haywire. We took the the uh, potentiometer that's inside here. We took it out and looked at it and tried to clean it. It made no difference. So what we're going to have to do here is see this will be like wide open. This will be to the floor. And we got to check this and make sure our ohms aren't more than 5,000, which it probably will be. And if they are... We'll, this little nut here, this little nut and bolt down here on the bottom, we'll loosen that up. And there's a notch right in there. And we'll, we'll turn that, we'll hold it wide open, then we'll turn that back until we get the reading of 5,000 that we need. So, let me get my, um, my uh, ohm meter. And let's check this out. It did come with the micro switch. Okay, so um, I'm going to check this. We'll adjust this first. I'm pretty sure this is the same one. I'll go over and look real quick. I don't have the hood on there yet for this reason. A couple other things like the flasher went bad. It's got a big old turn signal flasher in it. That thing's street legal, so it went bad. So, But um, it's a stainless steel, so it should be should be the one we need. So, again, let me grab some things, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, I don't think we're going to have to adjust this. Check this out. 
this is uh this is uh for 36 volt or 48 volt we have 48 volt on that system yes we have eight um six volt batteries in that golf cart see we got 4.76 4.77 so that should be good we should be good to go on there so all right guys back you out here i'm going to pull the other one off i got to clean my lens it looks like I'm gonna pull the other one off. I went through that on the on the uh, other video. You can go back and check it out. There'll be a link to that video in the description box below. It's real simple. I think it's only got actual two bolts that hold it on, like this one here, one there, or vice versa, one but two, and then the throttle cable. So let me get the other one pulled off, and we got to change our ends. We got to take the ends off the other pop box and put on to here okay guys whoops okay guys so as you can see i'm not even touching this pop box this is the old one and it's just jumping around doing crazy stuff and if i if i go like this it just goes off scale and i gotta set it twenty thousand. so yeah that's uh that's what it was doing just jumping all over the place so hopefully that will be the only issue um I think my batteries are charged, so. All right, now I'm just gonna take, take these two ends, white and black. I'm gonna put the black with the black and the white with the red, so. And um, I'm just gonna hook these together and then I'll, uh, this wire's a lot thinner than this one, but you know, what do you expect, right? The same exact one through Harley Davidson, because that's a par card, it's actually a Harley Davidson. The ones through Harley Davidson were like 160 bucks or something. I got this one for like 60 bucks, so. But yeah, I'm just gonna put these ends on here. I'll put some heat shrink on them. Then we'll go over and I'll get it mounted and we'll give it a shot. Oh, it's hot out here, sweating. <laughs> we'll give it a shot and uh, see if that was the issue, which I'm pretty sure it was, judging from this meter. <laughs> okay, we got our ends on there. Time to take it over and plug it in. Let's see if this thing works. Fingers crossed, I hope it does. But I think that was my problem, so we're gonna find out here in just a minute. And then I'll show, I'm gonna show you how, to, how it goes on. I'm not gonna show you installing it i'll just show you what to take off it's real simple three bolts a couple plugs okay guys so we got this on here that's where it sits here's your cable coming up right there i got it on the outer one this is your uh your micro switch there's three three prongs on that you're only going to use two on this one uh the double black wire goes on top and a single black wire goes on the very bottom. The center one's empty, or there's nothing plugged into it. Now this wire is really long, so I'm gonna be shortening that up because I got a lot of electronics to do on this thing. So it's gonna be shortened up, and I just ran the black to the black. Where are we at here? The black to the black, and the white to the white, okay? I don't know why I said blue earlier, <laughs> but, or red. So what it is, is there's a black wire and a red wire coming out of this aftermarket box, okay? The black wire goes to the black, the white wire goes to the red. That's what I meant to say. Hang on a second. Sweating all over my camera screen. That's that. Now what I got in here is a mess, but I got parts ordered. They'll be in, they're supposed to be in the 18th. I've got all new, I've got this cable here. I've got all new these ends, okay? They're all new, see, because look at that. Um, I've got them coming, and I'm gonna make a few wires, whatever I can get out of that length of wire there, I'm gonna make, and then the good ones, I'm just gonna replace all the ends on, because see, that don't belong there. Uh, that one over there don't belong like that. They should all be, 
like this. Well, there's a good example right there. Okay, so now let's pick this these tools up out of here, and we're going to try this and see if it works. Uh, that's the gauge. I'm going to get a new one of those that doesn't work right. Um, so I watch that gauge back there. Um, now, when you're looking for these things, like I said, uh, the pop box, yours may be different, but most of these are the Curtis system. And this is an integrated charging system. That right there is the charger. You don't have to have a separate charger. It plugs right into there. Right there. So, let me get these tools put up here. Well, let me get them set down here. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to put the seat down. And let's see if it moves. Okay, so I think that's the radio that was up in here. Because I had it working one time. And I don't know why I would have took that out. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, it will have all that hooked back up. Um, I'm thinking, instead of reaching way up here, I'm thinking about making me a little floor shift here or something. Uh, we'll have to see. I was wanting to put one right here in the center, but they make them for this. But I was going to build my own little floor shift for forward and reverse. Uh, or I may move that switch up here to where it's right here. Um, okay, well, let's see. We're moving. And it stopped. I may have to adjust that box again. Or not again, but I may have to adjust it after all. Yeah. Could be dealing with another issue, but I know the other pop box was bad because it just finally crapped itself out. Yeah, see. All right, let's take it forward. At least it's moving again. Yeah, see how it's stopping there? Alright, I'm going to take that pop box off. And I'm going to adjust it. Until it's exactly... Five thousand ohms. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off and adjust it because it was like four point eight nine or what? No, four point seven three or something. So let me get that adjusted, and then see that's not even on. It only comes on when it wants to. <laughs> okay. Let me adjust that. Okay guys, I think I got it. Let's turn it on. Put it in reverse. Let's push it down to the floor. That's all the way, whoa. That's all the way to the floor. All right, I think we've got it now. So, see it, it goes like that because the, the cable's stretched on it. but. Alright, there we go. So, now all I gotta do is get my cable ends and we'll be all set. See the windshield's out. I was gonna I was gonna pop it out of there, slide it up out of these slots here. It's got slots and it broke. And then the mirror on this side just fell off in the yard. So you know the Florida heat gets to that plastic and all right, satisfy with that, put it on charger, make sure it's full charge, and I'll be back with you. Okay guys, so there it is, pretty simple. I just done a little more tweaking, I brought it down just a little bit more. 
my uh, volt ohm meters might not be perfect so but it seems to be okay now um, so next week when I get the uh, get the terminal winds um, I got to take all them batteries out of there anyway eight of them so I'm gonna <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but um, so I heard that door opening but I gotta take them out do some work on the floorboard because I found this laying in the yard well right underneath where this was set where the golf cart was sitting that is one of the battery hold downs there's two of them so um, yeah I gotta do some work on the floorboards and maybe some welding I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there so I gotta I gotta move the vet because I I'm probably going to have to do some welding, and in order to do that, I got to move the vet, and the vet's out of gas, <laughs> so it doesn't hardly want to. It'll start up, and it'll idle, but as soon as you start giving it gas, it's 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 out of gas. Um, it's got the gauge will tell you like about how far you got. This is zero, <laughs> so uh, so I got to get gas, get that moved, and then I can park the the. Uh, golf cart right here hmm. drive by I don't know scoping the place out I don't know <laughs> so a couple old people but hey they might have been gangers back in the day who knows bangers i say gangers bangers whatever um so i gotta move that and get that up here on concrete and we'll set the batteries off to the side and then see what i can do about the floorboard and then i'll just make up all the new cables i can and then the ones that are still good i'll go ahead and put all new ends on and everything should be should be good to go to start on the little stuff like getting the hood back on it and and you know just getting getting the side covers off and getting them washed up uh, you know from sitting outside that thing was always garage kept when they had it and I can't fit up my garage right now so but yeah I think I think it's gonna be all right now if not you know if it starts doing it again maybe I'll order another pop box I don't know um, maybe something else might be causing it but it seems to be okay now since I adjusted it. We'll, we'll just have to see. We'll run it. Like I said, that thing is street legal, so I can run it around here. I used to take it down to the gas station down here to the store and stuff like that. Um, it's a little gas station slash store. Uh, I think it's a sit go now. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great weekend. I'm going to say Shea Bear, the man, a legend. I'm gone for now. Stay tuned for some more awesome videos. We got something coming up for you. Should be pretty fun. Don't know if you'll be interested, but it's going to interest us. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care, everyone.